Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to do a spring what's new in my closet. I double checked that everything was in stock before I filmed this video. I feel like I got a lot of new exciting things in for spring, so I wanted to share everything with you guys. Everything will be linked in the description, and then I even pulled kind of like some similar items maybe some more affordable versions of some things, everything in the description. And then if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I also have a sub stack where I really talk about a lot of fashion, linking a lot of things. And then obviously on my Instagram, I'm always posting outfits and showing how I styled everything or where I wore it to and much more fun over there. So I wanted to organize this video kind of by category. First, I'm gonna go through some new dresses that I got in. Okay, so dress number one is actually something I bought last year, but is still in stock, which we love. It's just a classic silky slip dress that I feel like is like a great base dress to have fun styling. Whether you could throw a sweater over your shoulder, style it with a belt, you could even throw a blazer over this. I think just having a good quality silk dress is amazing and it's comfortable which we love especially when it's hot it won't stick to you i feel like it's something you can really style transitionally and then into summer as well this is from enza costa which is one of my favorite brands i think they make some of the best pieces number two is this sir linen dress that i posted recently i wore it to the miami open and you guys went crazy for it. I don't think I've ever had higher swipe ups than I did on this dress. I love how it just cinches you in. Sir is one of the best brands for summer pieces. It's an Australian brand, so they just crush spring summer pieces. And I love this dress. I think it's so flattering, timeless. It's like not too trendy. Dress number two, I just got this gorgeous cult guy dress. I think it's so feminine. The material is like nice and stretchy. It's so flattering. I love the little cutouts. Just such a cutesy dress. I feel like Cult Guy makes such fun, interesting pieces. Last but not least, my only color in my closet. Red is having a moment right now and I just love an easy little red dress, but I think it still feels kind of casual and not too serious and not too in your face because of the linen material. And then we have this trench coat that I got recently. I love this piece. I think the color, the shape, the quality is so great. I think this is such a crucial piece to have in your closet. I think I'll have this in my closet for a very long time. I love this for the spring when it's a tiny bit chillier. Maybe you're walking around and it's a little bit later in the day. You can wear it kind of styled over something loose or you can tie it up and cinch in your waist and have it be a more like closed look and kind of have the trench coat be your look. So the next piece is a bit of an investment piece, to say the least, but something I've been really loving lately is spending the extra money on blazers and jackets. I think that's an area of clothing that I personally think you can really tell the difference when someone's wearing a blazer from Zara versus something that's more expensive. I think it really shows it's tailoring, it's it takes that better quality for it to really look much better. This is from Wardrobe NYC. Wardrobe NYC does an amazing job at delivering just capsule wardrobe pieces at not designer level. You know, something like this from St. Laurent would probably be like three or four thousand dollars. Theirs sits in kind of like the one thousand to fifteen hundred, which is still definitely investment. But I think the purpose of the brand is to provide designer quality pieces at a little bit less of a price point. So definitely a splurge, but definitely something I think you'll have forever. I feel like I've already worn this so many times with like just little shorts, little heels. I think it's a great item to have to wear out to dinner. Obviously, if you're going to something that's like a more formal or something you need to be a little bit more dressed up, your work requires you to dress up a little bit. Say you wear something more casual and then you just have this at your desk and throw it on for a meeting. Investing in a great blazer, I think you'll never go wrong. And I've been very into the double breasted. I think it's just a cool like look and this cream color is to die for. Moving on to tops, I think a button down shirt for spring is key. 
I've been seeing a lot of different versions of this type of like blue and white striped shirt. It's obviously such a classic. I'll link a bunch of similar ones too, but I think this is great to wear with pants and then it can be styled with a skirt. It can be styled over a bathing suit if you're going for like a beach day but it's not that warm yet i think it's great to just kind of throw on a button-down shirt it's such a classy classic look and on the button-down shirt axa makes my favorite linen pieces their brand is just so great this i have this one in like literally every single color that they make and i think the linen is a nice transition into spring something a little bit lighter just feels very spring and i love rolling up the sleeves styling a bit like the amount of styling opportunities with this is 10 out of 10 okay and then for tops i just got some really cute new tops in i just got this i haven't tried this on so i just got this tube top and i love it because i think it's obviously can be dressed up a lot i feel like i will wear it with a skirt or with white pants to match or just black pants whatever i think you could style this a lot of different ways very cute this top i'm so excited for one i love that you can wear a bra with it and you wouldn't see the straps and i just love a top like this i think it looks so good with skirts that are like a similar material to this or you can wear it with trousers for a more dressed up look this is one of those tops that's just such a good basic that's not boring and it's still a little sexy a little bit cropped but not too crazy and the material is very light it's almost like a t-shirt material but i feel like for me i'm always wearing t-shirts so i've been trying to find pieces that are a cute basic top but not a t-shirt because that can get really boring and i feel like this can be dressed up much more i recently got my first like apparel item from spanx interesting enough this is a bodysuit usually i don't love bodysuits but lately i've been liking them because i do like when it's just tucked in nice and smooth like nothing beats that look it like is so much more flattering and i love this because it's kind of like a buttery creamy color and i love the sleeve length I've been into the sleeve length, I think, especially as we all get older. Some of us maybe have like insecurity about our arms. If I'm just not feeling myself today, I feel like I like that cut. And I think it's a nice transition spring type of thing. I've been really loving this bodysuit. I love the color. I love how tight it is and I really like the material. And then I, you guys probably saw me post this recently. This is from Academy and mariana it's a two-piece set but obviously you can wear it together i do love when you can wear two-piece sets styled you know style the top style the bottom so that's always a win-win because i think i can create completely different looks wearing the top with maybe like a darker bottom or even just like pants and then this is obviously just a really nice easy clean cream straight classic maxi skirt to have that i think can be dressed up or down depending on what you're wearing it to and then I've been very into, which you guys probably have noticed from my Instagram, which I know is a acquired cut and vibe, but I've been very into the baggy, longer, like Bermuda boy shorts. I'm such a trouser girly. I just love a good trouser. So I think this is basically like the spring trouser. I think it's like a very cool look. It's baggy. I'm not a big fan of the short, short trend. I feel like it's just not realistic for me. It's not comfortable for me like i don't want my butt cheeks out so this is just great i feel like it just looks so good on everyone i think it's more so just about having the confidence to pull them off which everyone can i think they are a great work pan i also think you can wear them with heels and a tight top and like make it a little bit sexier for date night there's a lot of ways to style these i love these cream pair and the black pair as well obviously cream and black you know the neutrals that's what we like to work with. A lot of people have also been talking about capris. I styled these like two weeks ago in Paris and I did love how it looks and I've been seeing a lot of girls style capri pants in, in looks and I'm, I'm loving the capri pants. I think it's very cute. I definitely think it's not the easiest thing in the world to style. I personally like it with, you know, a little bit of a heel. Like I wouldn't wear them with flats, I don't think. And I like it with something maybe a little bit more structured on top, whether it be a jacket or a white button down, something that's kind of dressing it up so that they don't just look like workout pants, you know? These are actually really old from when the trend was happening like 
three or four years ago. These are from Zara, but I'll link a bunch of similar ones. I think that this is the type of trend that I wouldn't spend a lot of money on. Obviously, I've had these in my closet actually for quite some time, but it's not something that needs to be expensive. Another kind of trend that's happening, nothing I really talk about is too trendy. I think they're like just fresh classic things that maybe you don't have in your closet yet over just being a trend trend. I love kind of the boxer short look. I think it looks so good with a matching white button down shirt. It's also just very practical to wear when you're working from home, running to get your nails done, going to the beach, whatever. I think it's like also a pra very practical trend. These are from AXA, which I got last year, but they're still in stock. And then this is a slightly more affordable version from Shop We Were What So. I do love both. I think they're both very cute. And then I recently bought a pair of just a goldy denim shorts. You can never go wrong with a pair of denim, denim shorts. I like these because they're a little bit longer and I always get my denim shorts one size up. I never want them to be too tight. I think a loose vintage looking denim short is always the way to go. And then these types of skirts you've definitely seen me wear a lot of times. And this one is from Enza Costa. I just got it. I like how this one is just like no fuss. It's super simple. I think it would look so cute with just a casual top. You can even throw a belt around your waist if you're wearing it with a bodysuit. I think it looks really great when you throw it on wearing a bathing suit. I love these kinds of skirts. They're just easy and feminine. Still look very fresh, even though they've been, this has been happening for a few seasons now. And then I also love kind of basically like the boxer short, but in a pant, just like a comfy elastic linen type of pant, I think is always crucial. This one is more casual. And then my favorite pair ever that I've had forever is these from AXA. You're not supposed to wash them, I don't think. But anyway, I had these like two years ago and I wore them so many times and I kept washing them and drying them like a moron. I like hate going, doing dry cleaning. I always just throw my stuff in the wash and hope for the best, which is not a good strategy. But I love these. I just got a fresh pair because I made mine fall apart by accident. But they are really great quality. I think they look so good on everyone. This is great because the belt loops, you guys know I'm a belt fanatic. These obviously look a bit dressier. I think you can wear these to dinner or wear them during the day, obviously. Someone actually asked on my Instagram questions the other day, like how to look more elevated. And I was saying, I think, a lot of it has to do with just wearing more like tailored clothing, not necessarily going to the tailors to tailor all your clothing. Obviously that's one thing, but I think wearing more like tailored pieces. So like a button down shirt, trousers, blazers, like more, a little bit more structure can kind of, I think elevates your look because it's a little bit less casual. So having lots of trousers, I'm a trouser queen. I live for a trouser. So I'm always on the hunt for the best ones. I can't even tell you how many trousers I order constantly and then return just to like test out every single one that exists and see which one fits me the best. I ordered these pants, which I get need to get tailored, or I should have ordered a smaller size. I ordered a zero, probably could have used a double zero, or I just need to get them tailored, but I love these pants. The quality is so nice. These are from ALC, and I love the buttery cream color. They're a little long on me because I'm short, but a great trouser to have. Last but not least, we have some denim. I love Girlfriend Denim. I think they do such a great job. So this pair is called the Bella Low Rise. I have these in white, black, a denim, a dark denim. I have like every single color of these. I just love them. They're very loose, very casual looking. I feel like if I'm working from home and I wanna like kind of look put together, I'll put these on because they almost feel like sweatpants. And I'm a 25 in these because they do fit very loose. I just love the cut of them. This is the denim pair. So obviously everyone has heard of the Kate Danielle jeans and I feel like those have been blowing up, but personally they, they do not look good on me at all. They're, the waist is a little bit too long, but I think those jeans kind of brought the resurgence of just classic straight jean. These I got a 26 in and they're pretty like tight on me. These are called a super high rise slim straight. So they're not like a skinny jean by any means. They're just kind of a clean straight leg. And I love the cut of these. There's another similar pair that I'll link that I think is a similar thing as well. Like just a high rise straight, but I haven't tried those yet. I feel like they're always out of stock. I'll see if they're in stock. Moving on to accessories, which is my favorite subject. If you don't know, I own an accessories brand with my husband and we basically make 
designer quality accessories for a fraction of the price. So to me, belts are just the key to tying your whole look together. I think it's just the missing piece to the puzzle that maybe you haven't explored yet. Adds a little spice, but also brings it all together. We launched a lot of belts this month because the belts have been doing so well and everyone's been loving them. And I just feel like people are getting the vibes of the importance of a belt. So the one I'm wearing is actually one of my favorites. This sold out so fast and it's just the perfect little brown belt to take you from spring to summer to fall, like it's a year round belt, completely depending on how you style it. And I think this buckle is like so unique, the stitching, everything. I love this belt. And then I'm not gonna go through every single belt we have, obviously, but just some of the new ones. This belt I've been loving too. This is our patent leather studded belt and it's just, so nice the quality it's like new buck lining and this just makes every outfit look 10 times better like it just adds so much to your looks and then we recently launched two new pairs of sunglasses so we have saint germain in black and red so the inspo behind the black was i just wanted something that was classic timeless just like an easy clean black these are so dirty i've worn them 10,000 times an easy clean black sunglass that would look good on everyone they were actually inspired by this vintage chanel pair of glasses that i kept seeing lily rose depp wear and I was like, oh my god, I need to recreate those because I couldn't find them anywhere. So I selfishly wanted to make them for myself. But the shape looks so good on everyone. And I love how you can wear them with silver hardware, gold hardware, a black, nice pair of sunglasses like this is just crucial to having a wardrobe. I feel like I'm also so over logos. I'm just so overseeing it. So I hate when people have just these massive logos on the side of all their sunglasses. I just hate it. And obviously, if you want to spend a little bit more on your sunglasses and buy something that's, you know, feels really nice and like looks really nice they're handmade in italy and they just look great and i feel like they're a great non-designer designer sunglass you know and then obviously the red is so freaking cute i love them like they're just so unique and they weirdly go with so many things like when i was styling them for the shoot i was like wait i'm not gonna lie they look good with so many more outfits than i would have ex expected i think it looks good with browns cream like just everything brown cream black all white i was wearing it with like gray i think you can kind of have fun with it and really like add a pop of color to your looks and i feel like these are also one of those things where if you wear them you'll get so many compliments and being like whoa where are those from just like a very cool unique sunglass for jewelry one of the new pieces that we got in are the led earrings which is like our big kind of like door knocker they're fully hollowed though so they don't weigh down your ear Hailey bieber was actually just seen wearing them like a few times so we just launched the mini version which if you're not someone who wants a giant earring i think this is just such a cute alternative another pair of earrings that we launched are these little triangles these are basically inspired by the kate but they're much smaller and less long so they hang on your ear like a triangle and the kates are a pretty bold like long statement earring that maybe like doesn't look good on every single person's face shape if you have a really small face they might look a little too big for you so i wanted to just create something that was the same energy but more of an everyday earring they're so lightweight and they're still a statement you know they're still something cute on your ear for bags i haven't the only bag i've bought is my new hermes bag so if you missed that i do have a video of a story time of getting that bag in paris other than that i haven't bought any bags and i do have a full handbag collection video up for you guys next i'm gonna do shoes and i feel like i should eventually shoot like a full shoe collection video that's something you guys would be into Okay, shoes. I've been very into trying to find flats lately because I think it's hard to find flats that are actually comfortable. I've bought so many pairs and returned so many pairs. I just got these babies, which are like sold out everywhere. I'm so excited about them. I feel like the mesh flat trend is just like a fun trend that I'm down to participate in. I pick and choose which trends I participate in. And this is the ones that, that I want. I will say I do like this trend more in white or black or like a color. I think the nude mesh flats are a little weird. 
Like I don't love when it looks like flesh tone in these for some reason. There's so many dupes of these. I'm pretty sure Tony Bianco has like an exact dupe of these shoes. I'll link them and I'm sure they're pretty great quality. I feel like they look identical. Oh, I just got these cute little St. Agni wedges and they're just like really cute and comfortable and easy and simple, like very 90s. Cute, right? Love the square toe. I just got these in Paris. Do we die? I love them. I love St. Laurent heels. They're just so sexy. And I love how the heel is not a normal heel so that they don't get scuffed. And I love the tortoise. I love a black sling back whenever I'm like going anywhere. That's what I wear the most. You guys have seen me talk about these a ton too. I just got these Jacquemus shoes that I think are so fun. They're very comfortable. I'm very into like butter yellow right now. I think it's fun spring color to dabble in. And I love the snake. Cute. I always like having a li little bit more fun and excitement with my accessories, I think. I like investing in like a shoe or a belt or even just like jewelry that's more fun or red sunglasses versus tons of clothes that are really trendy. I think like playing with trends for accessories just feels better to me. I don't know why. I also just got these from, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Aid? Definitely not how you pronounce it. <laughs> I think they're a little bit too big. I'm usually a 39, 38 and a half. And for flats, I feel like I had to get these in a 38. Obviously these are weird, but like even these, I think I needed it in 38, but I don't even know if I'm gonna keep them because I can't tell if they're gonna be comfortable. It's hard. If you have any good flats that you love, ballet flats, anything that are actually comfortable, that don't give you blisters, please drop it in the comments because I've been on the hunt. I just ordered so many pairs and I'll report back on the other ones that I ordered. These are obviously comfortable because they're just mesh, but it's been hard to find cute flats that are comfy. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. I feel like I can do like a capsule wardrobe video separately. If you guys are into something like that or styling, feel free to let me know what else you guys wanna see, but I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching. Okay, love you, bye.